I've done this intro five times now and I'm working on a new intro for the channel. So I actually don't know how this, this episode is going to start. Your guess is as good as mine. Hello and welcome to this episode of Iron Drummer, the No Frills YouTube drumming channel. Literally, no frills whatsoever. And today I'm playing, again, the DW 14 by 5.5 Chrome over Brass. Shiny and Chrome. True Sonic snare drum. I've had this drum for about six years, I think. And it's one of the first kind of drumming videos I did for the channel. And hey, look, I'll admit it, that, that video sucked. It's it sucked harder than a vacuum cleaner. Like, man, it put dice into shame. It sucked that hard. If it was a vacuum cleaner, it could do quite well. Anyway, the drum's great. That video was just bad. So I'm gonna redo it as a long-term review because I've played it a lot, I've used it a lot, and I want to kind of delve a bit deeper into the drum, so to speak. Anyway, uh, 14 by five and a half, chrome over brass. Just a nice, clean, shiny, chromey, beautiful, sexy kind of snare drum. And I've used this on everything. Out of all the metal snare drums, this is one of my favorites. It just sounds perfect in every way. Low tuning, mid tuning, high tuning, cross tuning, everything it sounds fantastic. And the biggest kind of reason for that is apart from the high quality of DW snare drums, double beaded shell, chroma for brass, and the as you would be familiar with the Rogers Dynasonic, he uses a similar system. Not 100% the same as the Rogers, very similar, but it works. I have played an original and early version of the Dynasonic and it's kind of, kind of known in the drumming world that that snare lever kind of gets stuck and jammed and it gets, it's a bit weird, but anyway. Uh, I haven't played the new ones, um, I have tried to get a hold of one but at, I think they're between 15 and 1700 US dollars each, or oh, sorry, Australian dollars each. They're, they're a little bit expensive um, and, you know, wife. But anyway, um, this drum goes for about 900 US dollars in Australia it's between, I'll send them to go for about 11, 1200, you know, AUD or Australian dollars. And I think for what you get, it's a great bang for buck drum. Sounds great, three position butt plate, the mag throw off, which I just love. And you get that kind of parallel bridge system where the snare wires are constantly under tension and they move up and down. So instead of moving from one side to another, so like, like this, they move up and down. So when you're applying pressure, there are, the pressure of the snares on the bottom head is even. Although I have to change them and I don't know how to do it because they are old now and I shouldn't really, really change them. But the end of the snare drum, uh, end of the snare drum bridge, I guess you could, guess you could say, two adjusted knobs or adjusting knobs, uh, which I'm scared. I'm scared to change the snare wires. I don't know how to do it. I guess I'll just have to wing it and see how we go. But anyway, less talking, more playing. Uh, I'll see you on the other side.
Man, that low tuning is amazing. Medium tuning, pretty sexy, but that high tuning, it just reminds me of the whole Spin Doctors Two Princes vibe. Cracky, warm, okay, that was a Brady, but still, great drum, fantastic sound, best bang for buck, and the head I had on it, I actually tried a few different heads, the one I really like on this drum is a Coded Evans G1. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the review, again, because I had to redo it because the other one sucked. Um, I will see you all very, very soon, but don't forget, like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you can. I need the views, man. Views are down. Might have to stop doing some cliche, cheap versus expensive. There goes my watch. Uh, or, I don't know. I really don't do cliche stuff. But anyway, I'll see you all very, very soon.